Hi everyone, welcome back to Workshop and it's repair time again and this time I've got something a little bit different. What I've got here is a Trend IQL 11 Plus and what this is actually used for, they go inside of the likes of HVAC units and it's a network connected device that uh, obviously you might have more than one of these, you might have several, all different types of them and connected to it would be the likes of uh, a fan, uh, some thermistors and some triacs for driving valves etc. You've got the connection over here, this orange connector here which is the actual network connection and over the right hand side we've got a 24 volt AC power supply input. So it's pretty much a modular device. I've just got this one unit, I don't have any host controller or anything like that but I said I would take a look at it, open it up and you never know, I might find something obviously wrong with it. So let's open it up and take a look. PCBWay is your one stop solution that's been expanded from their large variety of PCB prototyping solutions to 3D printing, CNC machine work and sheet metal fabrication. PCBWay also has a growing community on their site where it's become an open platform for makers to exchange and share their ideas including the PCBWay store where some of the hottest modules can be purchased. I've been using PCBWay for years for my own products. Always reliable, always quality and always on time. Well getting inside it Looking at it, I don't see any screws at all. Quite typical for a unit like this. They're saving costs by making it a snap together type device. And at the moment, I'm not seeing anything obvious on the top or the bottom sides. Oh. Ah, there we go. Ah, there we go. On the other side, obviously the same. Yep, these little L brackets that are used to mount it on a base plate etc are hiding the little tabs which allow me to split the unit in half. So I'll go away and do that now and I'll come back. Well here we are inside the unit. I've had a quick look over it and I've not seen anything obvious. The only thing that's caught my eye, this LM317 up in the corner here, the pins are all gold and I don't ever remember seeing a gold tabbed, gold legged LM317 but never mind. So down to the right hand side we've got the power supply input 24 volts AC as I mentioned earlier we've got some protection on the input there we've got a rectifier diode not sure what these are here they're not marked I suspect there may be fuses they're kind of quite an oblong package there uh, so probably a couple of fuses got a main bulk cap here uh, a VFM 471 that's a transient suppressor couple of diodes here and up in the corner is that LM317 and another bulk cap that'll be on the output here we've got the main network connection here we've got the comms transformer here as par for the course for this sort of uh, network device we've got the main microcontroller I don't recognize the number it is a FT3450-P20 now I don't recognize that one at all the crystal for that and up along the top here we've got some 74 series logic ICs the main flash ROM here and next to it some external memory. Down below that we've got four triacs, we've got a main relay and down here we've got another uh, 7.4 series logic IC. Uh, we've got another LM317 SO8 package this time and I think this here is a 8 pin comparator by the looks of it. Not too sure what that's being used for. It could have something to do with the network or perhaps this uh, push button. Not too sure. So first things first, I'm actually going to go over the board and check these large caps just to make sure that they're okay. They're not bulging, they're not leaking in any way, but let's take a look at them first. So I'm just going to use my BM786 in capacitance mode just to check the capacitors. Normally I get on okay with that, so let's start down here. A large electrolytic there, takes a little second, 22 microfarad, that's exactly what it is and we've got another one alongside it, let's take a look at that one. Yep, 22 as well, and now the large electrolytic here, that is on the side of it, 220 microfarad, let's go on to it. 
seven microfarad. Wow. Now that could be an artifact of measuring it in circuit. So I might have to remove that one to take a look at that. So let's move on. Got this large electrolytic at the top here. 470 microfarad. Let's see what we're getting. Takes a second. 480 microfarad. Well, that's spot on. And that's it for the electrolytic. So, yeah, this one here. I'll, I think I'll actually remove it from the board. It's an SMD package, so I should manage to desolder that pretty quick. Ah, but wait a minute. It's not SMD. It's got pads on the top side there, so it's obviously an option. It's got actually through hole uh, legs on the other side. So, <laughs> yep, never spotted that. Okay, that's the capacitor removed from the board. No signs of leakage, so let's get the meter on it. A bit higher than it was measuring on the board. 35 microfarad. Well, actually, it's a 220 microfarad, 50 volt cap. So, yep, that's gone. Okay, let's try it at 100 hertz. Let me just short circuit it first. There we go. And let's connect up the... LCR meter, see what we get. Wow, 2.5 microfarad. Yeah, that uh, capacitor's toast. So let me go ahead and replace it. Well, that's the capacitor changed out, and I have actually gone and hooked up a DC supply right across that capacitor. Uh, I've just stuck in about 16 volts just to see what would happen, and I am getting 16 volts obviously across the capacitor, but if I just go to the just make sure I've got the right way around here. Yeah, if I go to the output on the LM317, it's 5 volts on the dot. So it looks like it's set up with its resistors to uh, regulate a 5 volt supply. And I do actually have a flashing light down here. Now, I don't know what the fault was uh, prior to the repair, uh, whether it was just doing nothing at all or whether there's some other fault. But actually, this is as far as I'm going to take it. I don't really have the kit uh, to set up in order to fully test this unit but I have found a problem with the power supply bulk cap was gone and I am getting a 5 volt supply we're getting a flashing LED which seems to indicate that the microcontroller's running so that's good enough for me so I'll hand it back to my HVAC guy and hopefully uh, maybe, you never know it might lead into more repairs in the future thanks for watching